So, now let us see how we can prepare the uh, uh, training data, right. This is the most crucial part in any natural language process application, right. So, when a given sentence is given, so we are given a very cleaned up sentence here. So, there is no need to do a lot of pre-processing with respect to removing uh, or uh, removing certain uh, literals or numbers or whichever are not required for the understanding of the word, okay. Uh, in this case, we are going to be using a, a 5 window size and we will be capturing the training samples using that. So, when we start with that uh, 5 uh, gram, so what happens is there is a start symbol in the beginning, right. So, that is when it, this becomes a central word. So, there will always be a start symbol and an end symbol uh, like this. So, we start capturing the uh, words that are surrounding the central word, ok. So, now uh, wish you as one, so we, and then we are capturing the bigrams of each of those in this case, ok. And then wish many, so we have you and many as the context word for wish. So, we are ignoring the start symbol for the moment here. So, when you move the window slowly across, right, so the central word changes and the corresponding context word also change. So, for this case, uh, you is the central word, wish and you more, you happy, correct. So, again you move the window, so slide the window to the next word. Now, many is your central word and you have many you, many wish, many more, many happy. So, in this way you keep uh, moving the window across the entire uh, corpus and then form the bigrams of all those uh, words and then create a training sample, ok. So, do not worry about the repetition of certain uh, bigrams in this case, ok. There will be repetitions uh, when you start processing a large corpus. So, we do not need to really worry about this at this point in time. So, in this case what we are going to do is uh, we know which one is the central word when we take it. So, first one is always the central word, right. So, this is going to be input into the uh, neural network. Let us say if you are looking at the SIBO model. So, I will use wish, I will take the corresponding one heart vector related to this and then use that as the input for the network. So, understand how this uh, is created, right, how this training uh, data is created, ok. So, again I am just giving the same uh, network model, but in a different uh, style. So, the we have an, this is a bow tie model, uh, this is the input layer of size v. So, x i would be x equal to x 1 x 2 to x v, that would be the size of the input. Supposing if we have 1 million words as the vocabulary, then the number of elements in the input layer is 1 million, ok. Hidden layer size is smaller than the input uh, layer size. Uh, we can go up to the value of uh, 300 or if you want still a further uh, finite a distinction, you can go up to 500, ok. So, that means, the hidden layer will have 500 elements and we will be connecting uh, 1 million to 300 or 500. So, that many uh, weight that you will see. So, that means, this is 1 million into 500, that means, you will have a, you will have 500 million connections going. In the same fashion, since the uh, input layer and the output layer uh, size is going to be the same, uh, both will have the same V dimension. Uh, if you are using 1 million, this also would be 1 million. Again, uh, the number of uh, elements uh, in, the, in the matrix W dash here would be uh, 500 by 1 million. 
ok. So, that is the size of that let us not worry about the size at this point in time let us only worry about how we can really uh, uh, make this neural net functional ok. As I mentioned earlier there will be only one input we will be providing at a time. So, one word will be input and the weights are uh, initially uh, randomly uh, created and then the hidden uh, layer is computed by using a dot product of the input layer and the weight vector and then later uh, the weight the output values are computed by again doing the dot product of uh, the hidden uh, layer elements and the weight vectors on the output layer side ok. So, this is the simple uh, representation of the uh, one word learning neural network uh, using the bag of words ok. So, as I mentioned earlier, so we are going to be using a uh, one half going to be using one hot uh, vector as the input element and then you know well that uh, the values uh, in the one hot vector would be equal to 1 only once in the entire uh, vector for a given word ok. The rest of the values would be 0. So, it also gives you the index of that word in the vocabulary list. Uh, so, this defines how the one hot vector is given. 